COVID fatigue can be described as a state of near burnout brought on by months of pandemic-related disruption without a clear end in sight, according to Robert Amler, Maryland, Dean of the School of Health Sciences and Practice at New York Medical College. Amler, a former chief medical officer of the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, where he specialized in infectious diseases, said the combined effects of frustration, isolation, boredom, and feelings of ineffectiveness have taken their toll, leaving people more impatient than ever to see the pandemic come to an end. The U.S. is not alone to face COVID fatigue. In Canada, a convoy of demonstrators occupied the nation's capital city for weeks to demand an end to all COVID-related health measures, though it has become clear the occupation was more about white supremacy and aggrieved entitlement than anything else. A number of Canadian provinces have also announced plans to ditch vaccine and mask mandates in the coming weeks and months. According to Amler, the fatigue-related attitude shift in North America is likely part of the reason driving governments to change their approach and abandon safety measures. All public health measures depend on cooperative behaviors, he said. Even restrictions that are officially mandated lose their effect when fatigue causes us to drop our vigilance and let down our guard. Legacy media has also contributed to the push for lifting all restrictions. As Scientific American columnist Stephen W. Thrasher pointed out in his recent article There is nothing normal about one million people dead from COVID. Mainstream publications have been beating a death knell of a drum for getting back to normal for months. The effect is the manufactured consent to normalize mass death and suffering, to subtly suggest to Americans that they want to move on.